Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Betsoy and I am your plant tita from Mindanao. Tara at samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. To those who are new to this channel, at sa mga hindi pa mo nakapag-subscribe, kindly click on our subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. And also, please follow us on our other social media accounts. That's aside from this YouTube account, we have a Facebook page. And our page is Betchoy Vlog. And we also have an Instagram or IG and our ID is Betchoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. And for this episode, guys, we will be talking about some new and medyo expensive and trendy na mga monstera varieties ngayon in the plant market. And I know most of you will agree with me, guys, that yung ating mga monsteras will always be a favorite natin ng mga plantitos, even yung mga baguhan at saka yung medyo uh, uh, pas na ng mga plantitos and plantitas natin. I know you would really agree with me na yung mga monsteras will always be classified as mga classic na mga plants. So, so ngayon, meron mga medyo luma, meron naman medyo mga bago naman, at saka medyo expensive ones na nagtitrend sa plant market. And so for this episode, we will be tackling or discussing about 10 of these Monstera varieties. And then, umpisa muna tayo sa ating number 10. The first one is, is our Monstera na Cream Brulee. So basically, this is another uh, specific variety of our Thai constellation. So you can see here, guys. Like the Thai constellation talaga siya na style, but what sets it apart from the regular Thai constellation natin is yung kanyang type of variegation. So that is why it has that name na cream brulee. Kasi just like the dessert, medyo makikita natin yung different mix of variegations dito sa ating mga dahon. So specifically for this one guys, what I can really observe, the big difference between the cream brulee versus the regular Thai constellations, that's the cream brulee. Very consistent talaga and widespread yung mga splash variegations. And to compare this cream brulee natin guys versus the regular Thai constellation, this one is a smaller pot. So maybe you can see here guys na medyo iba talaga yung type of variegation natin cream brulee. And also when it comes to the price mismo, medyo malaki din yung kanyang difference between the two. So the regular Thai constellation natin ito, minsan binibenta natin ito sa ating live selling around 1,000 pesos. As for our cream brulee naman guys, itong pot na ito na medyo malaki na rin siguro sa price ito nasa mga around 50,000 pesos. So next plant that we'll be talking about guys and that's our number 9 on the list is our Monstera Deliciosa Marilyn. So unfortunately we do not have an actual plant as of the moment but we will just be sharing a picture of the Marilyn. So ano ba yung big difference or yung uh, pinaka description nating deliciosa na Marilyn? So this one this is actually a deliciosa oria but then compared to the regular the deliciosa oria si Marilyn guys it has the mas deep siya, mas colorful, mas bright yellow yung kanyang colors compared to the regular deliciosa oria na medyo close to cream then yung kanyang color and most of the time then yung ating deliciosa marilyn yung kanyang type of variegation is more on the sectoral side hindi siya most uh, hindi siya more on the splash variegation also being a deliciosa guys we also expect na yung ating mga marilyn ay lumalaki din sila like gigantic talaga as in sobrang laki-laki ng kanilang mga sizes nagkakaroon sila ng mga double holes or yung mga double eyes doon sa ating mga fenestrations so price range considering that yung ating marilyn is also a rare type of a monstera so yung kanyang price range around mga 5 digits to 6 digits so there are some pots na yung mga mature form na na yung price is around 50,000 to 100,000 pesos up next and number 8 on our list is our monstera deliciosa Platinum. So again guys, this is another, I feel like this is another variety ng ating Thai constellation. So ano naman yung kaibahan ng ating uh, Platinum is compared with the other variegated na mga Monstera. So number one is yung kanyang type of variegations. Uh, what I see is parang close to medyo mint yung kanyang type of variegation and there are some traces of white and medyo yellowish than a color. And in terms of the spread naman ng kanyang mga variegations, all I can see is that 
widespread talaga yung kanyang mga splash variegations and there are also some sectoral na mga variegations in some of uh, in some parts of the leaves but then what we can clearly see is that most of the leaves are really covered with the mint variegations. So again guys, this may look like very confusing kasi almost the same yung kanila mga itsura but then uh, most of the plants that we'll be discussing right now, I've really seen them in the flesh, like in the actual talaga. So, dun mo talaga madi-distinguish na iba siyang variety as compared with that of another variety. So, in terms of the price range naman for our platinum, almost the same price range with that of uh, the previous plant natin, yung ating Monstera na Marilyn. So, that's around mga 50 to 100,000 pesos or yun yung kanyang price range, mga 5 digits to 6 digits. And number 7 on our list is our Monstera Deliciosa Mint. So this one guys, this is our actual plant of our Deliciosa Mint. So um, actually there's also another variety of this one. Meron namang Borsigiana Mint naman and mostly, uh, almost the same din yung kanyang description. Aside from the fact lang na yung ating Borsigiana is more on the trailing side, si Deliciosa naman ay ang ating crawling type. So for this one, the best way to describe our Monstera Deliciosa Mint and even the Borsigiana Mint is meron siyang mga mint variegations that are, so that is why it has that name mint so dito guys makikita natin yung primary color nating dahon ay color green with white variegations and in the white variegations na portion natin guys do natin makikita yung mga mint or yung mga light green na mga variegations dito sa ating deliciosa mint so for this particular uh, variety ng ating monstera deliciosa mint Ang makikita po natin may mga parts na meron siyang mga sectoral na mga variegation. So itong part na ito, there are some other parts na medyo color green lang din yung ating makikita na color. So in terms of the price range for our Monstera Deliciosa Mint, almost the same din siya na mga price range dun sa ating na-discuss earlier. So may mga 5 digits to 6 digits. So right now, nasa mga around 50,000 pesos is siguro yung pricing nito. And then, but I can still remember before, guys, when it came out to market, uh, most probably, siguro mga late 2021 or early 2022, sobrang mahal ito, guys. And in like every leaf nito is priced at around 300,000 pesos. So right now, medyo bumaba na siya. But then, it's still kind of prices compared with our mga regular na mga Borsigiana Albo or yung ating mga Borsigiana Aurea. So we can now proceed to our sixth plant guys so um, this one this is our Monstera Deliciosa mint and we also have another variety na mint din siya and that's our Monstera Deliciosa full mint so by the name itself uh, by the name it suggests na yung kanyang type of variegation is full mint so we can expect um, na almost entire part na ating mga daon ay covered with variegation so unfortunately wala tayong actual plant, plant as of the moment but we will just be posting a picture for reference ng ating Monstera Deliciosa Full Mint. So, basically, it's just the same pa din siya, guys. Uh, yung kanyang dahon is almost covered with the variegations natin. And then, sa loob mismo na ating mga white variegations, andon yung ating mga light green or yung ating mga mint variegations. So price range, let's talk about the price of our Monstera Deliciosa Full Mint naman. So, it's kind of pricey as compared with the regular mint lang natin. So if this one, we are pricing this one at around 50,000, most probably yung ating mga full mint with the same number of leaves and then with the same size siguro. Siguro it would be priced at around mga 70,000 to 100,000 pesos. And we are already halfway through sa ating video guys and it gets even more exciting at this point. So right now sa ating number 5 ng ating list ay ating Monstera Deliciosa Thai Constellation White Monster. So again, um, another, maybe some of you are already familiar with this one, maybe some are still not familiar. So, uh, right now, wala tayong actual plant as of the moment, but I've seen this plant in the flesh talaga. And what I can uh, see or describe is that yung ating plant na ito, yung ating white monster, it's just, it's like the white version of our Thai constellation. So, yung kanyang mga type of variegations, it's still... Um, parang Thai constellation siya but more consistent siya there are some other leaves na napuproduce ng medyo lesser variegation but still yung kanyang variegation talaga is like full white siya as in white na white from the very beginning up to the very end kasi si Thai cons, what we can see is that medyo at the start palang creamy yung kanyang color and then later on parang nagla light siya but then for the white monster it's really paper white 
yung ating makikita na type of variegation. And in terms of price range naman guys, si White Monster, medyo rare siya and more expensive siya than the mga plants na na-discuss natin later, uh, earlier. So ito yung kanyang price range, especially kapag medyo mature na siya with fenestrations and yung holes or eyes dito sa ating mga dahon, ay umaabot na siya ng 6 digits. So in terms of beauty naman guys, I can actually appreciate the beauty of the white monster and also I think one of the reason why medyo expensive pa rin siya sa plant market is that again because it's a deliciosa so we can really expect actually most of the plants that we have discussed earlier na feature natin sa ating vlogs uh, sa ating vlog earlier most of them are mga deliciosa so kaya medyo slow grower po sila and with that medyo pricey din sila number four on our list is our monstera deliciosa white tear so this one we have uh, we do not have an actual plant as of the moment but to best describe our monstera deliciosa white tear um, i think parang siya, ano siya guys uh, parang full mint yung kanyang type of variegation and then a mix with a regular mint then but then what sets this apart as compared with a full mint or yung ating mint na mga deliciosa is yung kanyang dahon thicker siya mas makakapal siya as compared with the previous ones and then yung kanyang shape naman ng kanyang dahon medyo roundish or circular siya as opposed to the other monsteras na na-discuss natin kanina so this type of monstera naman guys yung ating white tear medyo compact type of a monstera siya so that means to say yung kanyang petiole hindi masyadong mahaba and then expect naman natin na yung ating mga deliciosa of course medyo ma 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 maiksi talaga yung kanyang internodal distance so price range it's still considered to be major rare in the plant market so we can also expect na medyo pricey din siya as of the moment so right now i've seen in the plant market na binabenta ito nasa mga 6 digits kasi isa ito sa mga bagong varieties or yung mga bagong labas ngayon ng mga variegated na monsteras third on our list is our monstera deliciosa Ocean mint. So this is another variety na ating variegated na monstera with mint variegation. So kanina, meron tayong regular mint and then meron tayong full mint. But for the full mint and the regular mint natin guys, yung kanyang variegation or yung kanyang uh, white color is white talaga for this one. And let's just have a closer look para mas ma-appreciate natin siya. Makikita po natin na medyo yellowish yung kanyang type of variegation. So First time na nakita ko itong ating ocean mint guys, yung tumatak agad sa aking isipan ay parang similar yung kanyang type of variegation sa mga Adansoniae Indovar or yung Adansoniae na mga mint variegated which uh, became very popular some two years ago. So yan talaga yung pinakaunang tumatak sa isipan ko. Um, there are some parts na wala siyang mga variegation or like this one, may mga parts na hindi masyadong variegated yung mga dahon. But then there are some other parts na doon naman natin makikita yung kanya mga variegation. So I'm really thinking, I was just wondering kung bakit siya tinawag na ocean mint. When in fact, hindi naman ocean yung kanyang color or color blue, something like that. So hindi natin alam kung bakit ganito yung kanyang uh, na-end up yung kanyang name. Perhaps siguro yung reason kung bakit siya tinawag na ocean mint, yung pinakamalapit na maiisip ko lang din is, Parang yung sa Dalampasigan kung saan yung mga waves ay magta-touch na doon sa ating Dalampasigan or sa beach part. Doon yung parang nakikita yung mga bubbles-bubbles sa portion. So siguro yan yung pinagkuna niya ng pangalan. So price range for our Deliciosa Ocean Mint naman. Ito, this is still medyo pricey in the plant market. Um, 5 digits to 6 digits depending on the size and the number of leaves also. And of course the quality of the plant. And last year, actually guys, meron akong kakilalang collector na nakabili ng Ocean Mint. And that time, sobrang pricey pa talaga ng ating Ocean Mint. And they bought it at the price of 500,000 pesos. That's half a million pesos for two leaves lang siya guys. And it's also, um, by the way, it's, it was a mother plant. So, medyo pricey talaga siya. But then ngayon, uh, a little bit affordable na siya as compared to the price when it came in the plant market. And number two on our list is our... Monstera Medusa. So, ito, bagong labas lang talaga ito sa plant market and we still haven't seen this one in the actual. So, right now, mga pictures pa lang yung nakita natin ito. And then, as far as I have learned, yung mga varieties na ito, guys, ay galing ng Thailand. So, to best describe our Monstera Medusa, um, it kind of looks like yung ating Thai constellation but then meron siya mga white and yellow na mga variegations. And then what sets this apart, the regular Thai constellation, 
is the shape and the form of the leaves. So with the picture reference that we'll be showing with you, makikita po natin yung kanyang main difference. Meron siyang mga curling sa kanyang mga dahon. So ito guys, uh, actually hindi po ito sinasadyang pinapa-curl or pinapainitan. Ginagawan siya ng paraan para mag-curl ang ganyan. Ganyan talaga yung paglabas ng kanyang dahon. So kaya siya tinawag na Medusa, perhaps dahil parang similar siya doon sa buhok ni Medusa or ni Valentina dito sa atin sa Pilipinas na parang may mga ahas na shape. And considering na medyo bago pa po ito sa plant market, and medyo rare pa rin po siya, price ngayon is nasa mga 200,000 plus. And now we have come to the most awaited part, yung ating top one sa ating mga Monstera varieties na trending and pricey as of the moment. Yung ating number one ay ating Monstera Deliciosa Thai Constellation Green Snow. So, ito guys, actually I consider this one as the top tier yung pinaka-unique, pinaka-rare ngayon na Monstera variety in the world. So ito, plant unicorn yung tawag natin dito guys kasi sobrang rare niya pa talaga sa plant market. And with its rarity guys, we can also expect na medyo on the pricey side din siya. So for the green snow, right, of, right now, wala tayo dito actual plant, but we have held this one in the actual, like in the flesh talaga. So to best describe our green snow, Yung kanyang type of variegation guys, it's somewhat similar po sa ating Thai constellation. Again, because it's a variety of Thai constellation. But then, yung kanyang entire leaf, almost wala na tayong makikitang trace of color green. Kasi what I feel is that yung kanyang entire plant is covered with a mint variegations. And then, meron din siyang mga white na mga variegations all throughout. So, it's very consistent talaga. And then, meron siyang mga sectoral and sometimes meron din siyang mga splash na mga variegations. At ito lang talaga yung masasabi ko guys sa uh, seeing this plant in the actual and having held this one like in the flesh talaga na mahahawakan mo siya. Sobrang ganda niya. Ibang iba talaga yung kanyang beauty as compared with all the varieties ng mga variegated monsteras that we have discussed earlier yung number 10 to number 2. Si Greens now talaga, feel ko talaga na angat na angat siya talaga sa, sa ngayon. And then, in terms of pricing naman, I've seen also na binibenta din ito sa Thailand at a higher price pa rin po talaga siya yung sobrang liliit pa like mga one leaf lang na hindi pa fenestrated or yung mga two leaves na mga hindi pa fenestrated nasa mga 200,000 so yung mga bigger pots na meron na siyang mga around 10 leaves siguro that is priced at around half a million pesos Guys, sa disclaimer po muna tayo yung mga plants po especially with the pricing side na na-mention natin kanina. It's based on the plant market. And po, it can vary siguro depending kung saan yung location natin. But then more or less, yun yung nakikita natin sa plant market. And that would be it, guys. And I hope na nag-enjoy po tayo sa pag-feature natin ng ating 10 different varieties of variegated monsteras, which are very trendy and pricey right now in the plant market. So this is Betchoy, guys. Your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!